About three months ago, I reviewed the Poco F3, and it was the white version that came in a frosted finish. While I do intend to follow up on that video with a longer term review, I kinda wanted to share with you what it's like to use the blue version of the F3, which wasn't available at the time of the initial release. Before we dive deeper, I want to welcome back all the subscribers and thanks for stopping by once again. And if you're new here, I create tech videos of all kinds, so feel free to drop a sub to get notified of new content. As we unbox the Deep Ocean Blue F3, as Poco calls it, the contents of the box don't differ that much from the other two colors. The box basically contains the same welcome note, stickers, manual, case, pin ejector tool, warranty card, USB-C cord with a 33 watt fast charging brick, and a USB-C to 3.5mm adapter. And finally, we have the phone itself. So right off the bat, this phone is striking. Instead of having one or two types of design, you actually have three shades and a pattern on the back to make it diverse and unique at the same time. The railing is coated with an off-blue shade that continues to the buttons, but is married with glossy chamfered edges and portions. The camera module is also in blue but in a glossy finish that still easily attracts fingerprint smudges. But for the main takeaway here, the largest portion of the back is accompanied by these diagonal lines that are underneath the glass, meaning the entire panel still feels smooth and consistent. As for the other two shapes, they appear like they have the same shade but once hit by lighting in certain directions, they shift massively. Since we're only going to talk about the design of this phone, let me get critical here for a sec. I think if you're looking for the best color finish on the POCO F3, I personally think that it's the white version. Now you may disagree with me since we all have our own preferences, but to me, I hate the glossy fingerprint magnet black color. The white version has a frosted finish as the blue one, but it hides the smudges way more effectively. But for this blue color, the smudges are still noticeable and sometimes wiping them with a damp or dry cloth does nothing at all. Although I'm not a fan of the branding and printing on the back, it's not a huge deal breaker to me, especially it has this matte-like silver finish on it that further accentuates the look of the phone. But I think the diagonal lines make this phone cheaper more than it makes it premium. If you look at the phone dead straight, the phone doesn't look good at all. You have to be gazing at the phone from a certain direction to get the best angle. But hey, you're probably going to put a case on it so you can forget all about that. But if you rock your phone naked like mine, I think it's worth pointing out. Man, this phone is really hard to make look good in camera. Again, I'll be releasing more videos about this phone including the longer term review and Q&A portion centered around your issues with the phone. As always, drop a sub or like if you feel supporting the channel and until the next one, stay safe.